We are on a day two of my new Pat McGrath Lab series here where I'm going to be posting for the next 14 days. Yes, I'm where I'm going to take each one of my motherships every day and the other palettes that I have from Pat McGrath Labs in my collection and I'm going to post a look and this is a wearable series. So these aren't going to be full glam looks like most of my other Pat McGrath Labs series. I do have a Pat McGrath Labs playlist on my channel if you are interested and there's a lot of glam looks but this is like work specific or just like really casual everyday makeup looks using my Pat McGrath Labs palettes because a lot of the times I get feedback from you guys asking for inspo on how to incorporate your mothership palettes into your everyday makeup and not make them so like full on and glam. So that's the inspiration for this series. Today for day two we do have have the Sublime palette, which is just one of my absolute faves from her. I just love this green, but also when you kind of even stop getting distracted from this green and even this copper, the rest of this palette is actually quite beautiful and very, very, very everyday friendly. So we're going to do a look with this today. Hopefully that sounds interesting to you. Now, before we get started, let's go ahead and do the YouTube things. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's get into it. We're going to do eyes first. I'm going to take my Rare Beauty Eye Primer and just Prime the lids, because not to prime is a crown, as we know. So we're dipping into the Sublime palette today, and it is very pretty, very stunning. I do have quite a few looks on my channel using this palette if you want to see other inspiration. This one doesn't actually have a light enough transition for me, so I am going to dip into Old Faithful Subliminal and go into this shade right here, which is a shade that I dip into... Honestly, a hell of a lot. And if you have seen any of my pat playlists, you know that because I do find this to be quite a an incredible transition shade and I'm so close to hitting pan. I'm gonna take this one first, but if you don't have this shade, do not worry. Just take your bronzer shade even or any other neutral shade that you have in your collection or any shade you like at all. It really, you know, it does not have to be this one. This is a What's Up Beauty R104 brush and I'm just gonna squirrel this into the outer corner here and just fluff it through the crease a little bit just to create that first shadow. And I will just pack this onto the outer corner as well. This might be dark enough for you depending on your skin tone or your preferences. So if you want, you can always just stop here and then skip this next step and go on to like the, the fun part, the metallics. But if you want to just add a slight little bit more dimension to the eye, I'm just going to grab my What's Up Beauty R105 and dip into this dark chocolate brown right here in the Sublime palette. And I'm just going to pick up just a small amount and use it to just deepen the look up slightly. For me, adding this extra shade just really creates that dimension for my hooded eyes and makes them look a little bit less hooded, but it's really up to you and your preferences and how much time you have, really. Once you kind of get the hang of these kinds of looks, though, honestly, they, they can really just take like five minutes to put together. It's all about finding the right kind of shape look for your eyes like you'll notice a lot of time with these kinds of things most of my looks follow this shape i throw the transition down pack some shadow in the corner create some depth and throw a metallic on and it's because i know that that's what's going to suit my hooded eyes the most and i don't have to think about it i'm used to blending in this form like manner so it's very very quick and easy and it doesn't take a lot of thought or anything. So once you find like your go-to kind of shape, yours might be a halo eye, it might be something else completely, but once you find it, it really does become so much easier and quicker to kind of like throw on, especially in the mornings before work. And that's pretty much it for the mattes. For now, we're going to take my Pat Intensify stick. You could use glitter glue, you could just wet your brush, you could do none of this, it's up to you. If you have hooded eyes, I do recommend this. It's just going to create uh, the longevity in the eyeshadow for you and stop any potential creasing and fallout going down the face. Now I'm actually going to dip into this shadow right here, which is like a salmon-y pink. It's very, very pretty. And we're going to lay this down where we just put down the Intensa Boys. And I'm just taking a Delium Tools 773 and just packing this on. And then just make sure you're tapping and not swiping so that you get the most amount of that pigment. If you're in a super rush, just take your finger and go wham bam. <laughs> now, if this is already looking too dark for you, again, you could skip that second step that we use to deepen up the crease. You absolutely could just skip that step. Or if this metallic is looking too dark for you, 
I would honestly go in with like this one right here and that will just create a really like it will just create a light a lighter eye look and a brighter eye look and then you can go in with the next step that will do and then that will add the extra like pop if you will And then I'm gonna dip into this shadow right here just on my, with my finger and I'm gonna press it over the lip very lightly so I don't want it to be too built up, just a little scatter. I just want a touch more extra volume. So just like that. But again, if you went in with this shade, then I would take this shade. You could still take this one. You could actually take any of these three and you could just tap that very lightly over the metallic and it will extra add that extra pop for you. See how it's just, it's added a little extra pop. You could obviously go in with less if that's too much, but for me on the everyday, this is really not too much, but it might be for you. And I'm just doing, dipping back into that dark brown matte in the palette and I'll just marry this outer corner a little bit more. I am gonna quickly put my KVD tattoo liner, it's just black one on the top. It's the new, gel pencil one. Uh, I'm just going to put this on the top waterline and then we're going to move on to the base, but I am going to speed through the base. So this video is not a million years long. So I'm going to put this on the waterline, on the top waterline, sorry, and then speed through my base and we'll come back and finish the rest of the look. So just a gym. makeup is all completely done let's dip into this shade from subliminal first and just run that along here this is a BK 206 and for the inner corner I will take this shade right here you could also take like this special shade it's probably just a bit glittery for me for the everyday to be fair but i think that looks lovely in the inner corner that's pretty much it i'm gonna put the melt cosmetics olive um eyeliner on the lower waterline you obviously don't have to go with something this color you could leave it bare or whatever i just i love this color it just adds a little something something to like literally any look while still being neutral and then i'm gonna mix the rare beauty and item beauty lash snack mascara together and then we'll quickly do lips, so just a jiffy. Okay, I just quickly went and put my hair topper on, which if you don't know, I suffer from hair loss. I wear alternative hair. It's a thing around here. I have video, a video about it on my channel. Now let's just quickly do our lips. Uh, Pat McGrath Contour Lip Liner. And then I'm going to take my Victoria Beckham Girl Lipstick today, which she just released a liquid highlighter or a cream highlighter, and I think I'm going to have to pick it up. That is looking pretty good if I do say so myself. Let's zoom you back so you can see the, the finished look. And this is the finished makeup look. What do we think? Is this everyday wearable for you guys? If you find this too blingy and glam, again, take that dark shade off like the second transition type shade that we used and you wouldn't, like if you find that this is too blingy, then just don't pop that shade on, keep it to the pure metallics. And don't forget, you can also switch this out with like the champagne-y whiter shades in the palette as well if you wanted more of a less pink look and a more brighter neutral look. Hopefully you found this video helpful and interesting and fun in some way, shape or form. And uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Is this something you would wear on the everyday? 
this I'm actually working literally right now so this is 100% what I would wear to work if you are wondering and yeah I will see you tomorrow for day three which is subversive. So uh, if you're watching till this point, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. It helps my channel out so, so much and I truly appreciate it. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are in the world and I will see you next time. Bye.